Why, hello there, Internet! It's Frank from the Warren Doe blog, and today I am out uh, doing a little research uh, for some clients. Uh, we're putting together a book on some of the cool but kind of off-the-beaten-path things about uh, Detroit. And today I am here at the Brennan Pools. Uh, obviously it's closed because it's October, um, but uh, we're here uh, taking a few photos and uh, seeing some of the stuff. Nice little plaque explaining all about the guy who uh, helped build this thing. John Conrad Nagel. Thank you for helping to build both the pools as well as most of Farouche Park. So, one of the many cool things. And uh, here we have the pool itself. Obviously, it's empty now. Long-term uh, viewers of uh, my blog probably recognize, will probably recognize this because I did a video about a year or so ago. I had this place just filled with kids running around and swimming in the pool. Uh, a moment ago you probably you might have heard the sound of gunfire coming from the distance. That's because the Detroit Police Department has a pistol range. Oh, there's another volley of it. Yeah, the Detroit Police Department has a pistol range, oh, maybe a thousand feet away from here. So you hear the gunfire every now and then. But anyway, whoosh, the camera, at least, is not trespassing on city property. Um, good look at uh, Brennan Pools. Closed for the season, obviously. But continuing on. And over here we have the tennis courts, which are obviously also... Vacant. Well, not actually vacant. Well, closed for the season, I think, is the preferred term to say. But anyway, yeah. For those of you who've seen my personal blog, know that I've always wanted to get good at tennis, because uh, there's something about tennis players always get the best women. I swear to God. Anyway, read my personal blog for that story. Um, anyway. The closed for the season tennis courts. Gates around them are kind of rusty and crappy, but the courts themselves are in good condition. So anyway, continuing on. Okay, Internet, so here's kind of another, kind of an interesting... Here's St. Martha's, uh, the, the cemetery at St. Martha's Episcopal Church on Dry Road in Detroit. The church cemetery. That big stone right there, I can't, you can't get to it right now. But that grave right there with the big obelisk, that is Henry Ford's uh, final resting place. And if you look around here, you'll see a whole bunch of other members of the Ford family are also buried nearby. Ford, Ford, Ford. So kind of a cool historical significance here. But then... We go from the dignified and historical over here, as I slowly pivot the camera around, we see some construction happening on Dry Road, and then for the least dignified thing I could think of in the neighborhood, the Obama gas station. For the record, I did vote for President Obama in 2008. I'll probably vote for him again, but putting naming a gas station after him is quite possibly one of the least dignified things one can do. Uh, anyway, so those are the, uh, that's the kind of the, the off the beaten path things that I wanted to show everybody today. Um, had to track down a lot of things today for some of my clients, and uh, it was fun taking you along. So until next time, I am Frank from Warrendale Blog, and I hope you can hear all of this over the construction noise.